welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video so it's been almost 24 hours that i'm using ios 26 beta 6 on my this device and in this video i'm gonna talk about how this 24 hours went i will be talking about the battery life and i will be talking about the how is the performance going on and if there is any bug i will be showing the geekbest score and all that now without any further delay let's get jump into this video and see how the 24 hours went with iOS 26 beta 6. So starting with very first thing is definitely the battery life. So I will get into the settings. Let the battery stats load over here. In fact, this is the battery stats over here. And as you can see today, I used 69% of my battery life, which is quite decent. And again, 69%, I got almost five hours of screen on time, which is quite decent. Again, during this time, I used different applications like Netflix, I was quite active on Netflix for more than a one hour using TikTok, Instagram and testing of the kick badge using WhatsApp for texting and all that and you know other stuff like threads and X for posting different things. So for the 69% 5 hours almost 5 hours is a decent screen on time. I think um, in a couple of days it, this will get better. It is feels like it is as same as it was in the previous beta. Um, I am not seeing any big improvement. Maybe slightly a bit better, but it feels like same in terms of battery life. So yeah, battery life is decent. Battery life is good. If you're worried about the battery life, you don't need to worry about it. It's quite decent. It's an iPhone 11 over here. And for that, as you can see, almost 5 hours screen on time for the 69% not even 100 percent i can guess that if i use around 100 percent i definitely gonna get more than six hours and 30 minutes which is like a really really good screen on time for this much old device so in terms of battery life it is really good now if we get into the performance if i talk about the performance i'm seeing improvement i talk about the um, performance on the iphone 11 in one of my previous videos that it doesn't feel as smooth but with the beta 6 it is like quite smooth somewhere it feels a bit slaggy laggy like opening keyboard may take a bit of a time like you just saw it's like slightly nanosecond extra but it's good it's decent as you can see um, i am happy with the battery life being very honest and happy with the performance so far and talking about the uh, geekbench over here let me get into the geekbench app over here cpu benchmark cpu history and over here, I will get into this one. Now, after updating to iOS 26 beta 6, I ran the score and I got 1764 on a single core, while 3918 on a multi core. Now, single core is higher than the average one, multi core is also higher than the average one. As you can see, that is quite decent. After using it for a while, I ran the test again, and this time I got even better scores 1781 on a single core and 4008 on a multi core. Again, both scores are definitely higher. Now, these scores are decent, they are good, but they are not the best. Like, if I go back, maybe with the uh, beta 5, I guess, I was having a, even a better score in the multi-core. So, scores are good. I'm not saying scores are bad. Scores are good, but they are not as good as they can. So, there is still room of improvement. And I still believe that after a couple of days, I can see better scores. So, definitely, I will be bringing um, you know follow-up video for the performance too. But so far things are nice over here. So that is a very good thing. And if I talk about the bugs, I haven't faced any bugs so far. One issue that I'm facing, like if I go and search for a call, now there is a big space over here. And you know, I'm searching for a contact and it is all the way down over here, as you can see. Now why there is this space, I have no idea. And it is over here. It should be over here. You know, that will make sense. But this is one thing that I saw and I noticed. Other than that, I haven't faced any issue at all. So yeah, that's all from this video. Um, if I conclude this video, battery life is good, performance is good, and things are decent, but I personally believe they will become even better after using it for a couple of days. So definitely, I will be coming up with a follow-up video. So that's all from this video, and I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until that, take care. Peace out.